in order to get stronger here, you need to put in the work. So I had Chad run around for literal days in order to level up that strength, while I had his little companion buddy mine up some copper to get us a little bit of pocket money. Hopefully this episode we can assemble what seems to be a full squad, and maybe we can even get in a couple scuffles or two to help out our stats. So far, it's been a pretty good start to our adventures. It's been seven long, very long days of pure strength training for Chad here. But I finally think we're at a pretty decent strength level. I got it up to level 30. We're about day seven in. Took literally 35 minutes, like, IRL. So I'm pretty proud of the gain so far. It's literally allowed us to carry almost... 45 pounds of weight with us so this is a huge improvement from like our negative seven at the start okay chad's finally starting in his true colors i don't know if any of it's gonna show but we did get uh, a new person on the way you could say also you might be wondering why rin's name is now lemon and that's because i'm gonna be naming uh some of you viewers after everyone i get now there's not gonna be a lot of people so just leave, I guess, your comment down in the comment section down below. I'll put you in a draw and whenever I decide to recruit someone new, which I am in like the next five minutes, maybe I can put you all in the game. Now, I'm just saying Chad's priority level is a little bit higher than the rest of you peons, but uh, that, that's fine. That's fine. That's, a, that's just a fine little part of the fine print, okay? Anyways, we're probably going to be testing out our new strength. We also decided to treat ourselves to a new weapon. A Ronin Greatsword, which is actually a heavy weapons class, which I want to do for Chad. So this should be pretty nice. Also, my backpack name. Uh, he's almost completely healed up from the last thrashing I absolutely put him through. So we're going to go test uh, Chad now. Of course, it's literally the only strength. Dexterity is still at an abysmal zero. So is toughness. So maybe we should be able to level that up from uh, attacking this guy, beating him up, and then healing him up again. Anyways, before we do that... Let's go, um, decide to buy a new person. I'd like three people in the group before we decide to head out. So one of these lucky people is gonna join your boy on his quest for greatness. But first things first, who's gonna join us? Okay, right now I'm just eyeing up these stats, and there's quite a few good people here. Uh, let's see here. You know, let's try stone. I'm not in the mood for chat right now. Either buy me. Wait, either buy me? Oh, okay, for drinks. I was, I was getting really confused. I'm like, I'd, I'd buy you for $50? That's a hell of a steal. You could be a part of the labor force. Anyways, okay, sure, drinks on me. Had a run-in with the Bugmaster down south. Hard times. You ever hear the Bugmaster, Romer? Uh, of course. I've crossed blades with him before. I'm very reputable and I'm very strong. Yeah, then it's a miracle you're alive in here today. The guy's a bloody maniac. A freak of nature. Oh, really? You don't want to join me? Ooh, it looks like we're going to be going for old Twigs McGee here. <laughs> okay, buddy. Uh, wallet's empty and so is my goddamn belly. You looking for a cheap sword? But pretty desperate, so 3,000 cats. Deal. Welcome to the club. And one of you guys gets to be this very, um... He, I mean, he's rocking the mullet. You know, he's got that going for him. But yeah, one of you guys, I guess, is going to be him next episode. We'll have him. Ready to go. He's definitely a lot weaker than us too, but that's okay. He's actually got a sword with him, which is an improvement over the rest of th this. And there's actually um, some pants he can borrow from the nearby floor of the rotting people. Wow, it's really messed up, but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Well, at least get him in some new clothing. You know, that's the very least we could do for Mortez here. He's definitely gonna be the run to the litter. Actually, armored rag skirt. Yeah, he's only gonna be able to wear one of these. But that's a little bit better than nothing. Okay. Let's go have everyone come through here. We're probably going to need to follow Mortez. Because Chad's running at 22 miles an hour. Lemon is running at 19. Mortez, 16. So, yeah. We're probably going to have them follow Mortez. We'll go off into the side a little bit so we don't get, I guess, beat up by the local ninjas for roughhousing. And we're going to go test uh, to see how much Chad has improved. I, I hope quite a bit. I spent a lot of time leveling up that strength. And you can definitely tell how just how much better he looks, I think. We don't have that six pack yet, but hopefully in the future we will. I mean, we're literally carrying around this guy almost completely perfectly. That's actually insane. Okay. 
This is uh, time for backpacks, time to shine. So we're gonna have everyone hold over here. Chad, you stay right over there. We'll have them hold. Put them down. Let's see how this guy goes. There we go. Hey, man. Okay, he's probably gonna stay unconscious, but we gotta get ready for the battle. We got this big old sword. I want I want it even bigger, though. I want the sword the size of two men. Something more like a slab of just iron. You! Hand over your food. <laughs> I've literally carried this guy around like a backpack for like five days after I beat him up after he got like caught trying to kill an animal. And he has the audacity to say this to me. Chad, just Chad, he hasn't earned the thunder cock yet. Hand <laughs> over your food. Um, get lost, Starver. Oh, I should have given him a weapon. I feel, I'm gonna feel bad for this now, but whatever. He stands no chance. <laughs> no chance whatsoever. Let's actually see how much damage he's doing. Pitiful four. 27, I'll take it. I will take it. Look how fast he's throwing that thing around. Okay, he is getting a little bit hit, but that's okay. He's gonna raise his defense skill just like that. He can swing this thing around pretty easily, to be honest. Look at him go! Dealing like 27 to 30 a hit. Yeah, no problems whatsoever. Just wait till we get some group AoE on that. But the beautiful thing about him punching me is that we're leveling up defense and toughness without actually, like, having to use first aid. So this is very nice. Destroy him, and then rebuild, and then destroy again. I mean, Chad was literally throwing that around like a piece of paper. He stood no chance. <laughs> and now we build him back up to repeat the process later. Now, we actually are probably going to need food. I guess we could give uh, the fish to Mortez right now. But yeah, we're probably going to pay one more visit to the hub. Maybe look around, and then we're probably going to head over towards Squin. Or maybe Vane's Pass. One of the two. But anyways, we ought to get out of this area. This is like the beginner zone, and I think we're a little bit past beginner. At least we got two decently stat people. I mean, 19 attack is... <laughs> that's no joke. Defense is a little bit iffy, but that's because we are wearing some new equipment, aka the Assassin's Rags, which is honestly going to help us out quite a bit in terms of just, like, weapon speed. So we're going to be keeping that. Anyways, let's go heal up straight here. Um, Mortez! You want a shirt real quick? You can go grab that, and also go grab the red bandana. It's basically like a signifier that you are part of the squad now. There we go! Man, Lemon, you have some really bad posture. Holy heck, he's... He's got that gamer neck! <laughs> okay, let's go heal this boy up. We'll carry him around just to level up Chad's strength even more. You know, a little bit passively. And then we're gonna head over to the big ol' hub. Maybe, uh, recruit... I mean, we have 8,000. We could recruit one more person and have, like, a little squad. Maybe you fight some hungry bandits and hope we survive to tell the tale. Honestly, like, Kenshi is really messed up when you think about it. Like, just... This is, like, one of the only games to where you literally use someone as a... as a practice dummy. Like, you will literally beat the snot out of them, help them up, you know, make them healthy again, make them limber, and then just beat them back down. It's literally, like, breaking bones or, like... You know, dislocating someone's shoulder, relocating it, and then dislocating it just to dislocate it. <laughs> okay, let's pick him up before he gets up. Come on, team. Uh, actually, okay, so Chad is still fast. Actually, is he? Eh, he's not the fastest. I think everyone can follow him pretty easily, right? Let's see. Yeah, should be no problems whatsoever. Let's go head up to the hub. You know, as we're moving up, I kind of wish there was more in terms of, I guess, like, actual muscle gain. Maybe if we take off his assassin's regs, then we'd see something a little bit more. I mean, they're kind of clipping through. That's just how big his arms are. I hope they get to, like, gorilla size by the end of this, dude. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I gotta say, I love the landscaping of this entire thing. Just the three musketeers moving on in the deserted wasteland. Kind of like... It's basically Weeaboo Mad Max. I'm stealing that from a comment I heard earlier. I really like that uh, name. Weeaboo Mad Max. I mean, it's basically what it is. Everyone is running with a, you know, glorious Nippon Steel, but Chad? He's basically got like a kind of buster sword going on. I really like it. I like it a lot, actually. I But I really just want something that like kind of resembles uh, the, the Dragon Slayer from Zerk. I feel like that'd be really cool for Chad. You know, I don't want to do, I guess, martial arts, because I feel like martial arts has been done all the time. I want something big. I want something that only the strong can use, you know, wield perfectly. I want something like that. 
I don't want no baby katana or using my hands. Even though using hands would be pretty cool. We've made it to the town of the hub. Town of the hub? That doesn't really roll with the tongue. I guess we'll just call it the hub. We'll go take a little look around. We do actually need some food for the journey. We're kind of low on that. All we have is like a bowl of half-eaten rice, dried fish, and Chad doesn't even have anything. We also need some more medical supplies, so hopefully we can buy everything we need here. We'll get a meat wrap. Ooh, a rattan hat. Nah, nah, nah. We, we don't spend money on clothing. We just steal clothing. But I will take all the food. Maybe we'll go get a bag as well. I feel like that'd be pretty useful. But we got some food with us. Mortez? No, Chad has it. Okay. So we're gonna go trade up with Mortez. Give him all the goodies in the bag. Let's see here. You are... I'm gonna keep the Gohan for myself. So you can take that and that. We'll kind of squeeze it up in there. We do need some more medical supplies. Hopefully we'll actually go get that at this nearby bar real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You chumps remember me. They probably don't. <laughs> I was only here for like 10 seconds before. But we're here again. Ooh, Hobbs. Hey, you know what? That's a free person. I mean, I don't want to go over six. I feel like once we get the original six, then we're going to be done. But, um... If I remember correctly, from my last series, Hobbs is basically a free recruit. That's right. Come sit with me. I, I always do the same voice. That's right. G uh, come on. <laughs> okay, I gotta find the voice for Hobbs real quick. We're probably gonna forget it by next episode, but I can't be just doing the Joe Swanson, or, like, Kronk voice all the time. I literally revert to that. That is, like, <laughs> the status quo of my voices. Let's try and find something a little bit better. Like, have you ever heard of the story of the Wailing Banshee? <laughs> no. That's right. That's right. Have a drink. Hey, have you ever heard the story of the Wailing Banshee? I like that one. Uh, what's it about? What's it about? Well, legend has it is that it dwells in a sunken cave, south of the sands. I heard it has bones made of solid diamond. Just one tooth would fetch you billions, no, poo billions of cats. It has a gigantic tongue of a lusty tree hag and a marvelous pair of bingo wings that droop like a smooth butter potato. Some even say it has a snout of a fondled truffle. Even the most handsomest of man-warriors haven't been able to hunt the peppery thing down. Okay, in order to feed to his delusions, we're gonna have to go... <laughs> we're gonna have to go with this stupid story. Chad doesn't believe a single thing about it, but he's a master of the words, okay? He knows how to get his way around and manipulate people to do his bidding. That... that sounds amazing. How do I find it? If I knew it, I would have tracked it down myself. But if you're going to head out in search of it, you must take me with you. Call it old dying man's last wish. Then I will glant. Then I will glant. Then I will grant you your wish, old man. Come join us in search of this beast. There we go. We got our third person. Now he doesn't have a red bandana. We're gonna have to change that pretty soon. Man, finding another voice other than <laughs> Kronk or Joe Swanson is a little bit harder than I thought. How can I help? Let's do business. I mean, I'm probably gonna be talking in this. Oh, come on. Dude, it's only like 5,000. Um, it's a little bit cooler than my Ronin Greatsword is all I'm saying. Like, uh, let's see here. 0 0.69, 0 0.63. I mean, it's barely changing a thing, but god dang it. Whatever, we're gonna have to leave it. Uh, these guys don't actually sell a bag. We're gonna need to keep an eye out for one of those. Well, um, I guess I'll give him my meat wrap. There you go, buddy. Unless you already have food on you. You have a weapon? No, he doesn't. Have this stick. He has a pretty nice jacket. I'll give him that. Um, yeah. I think we're all ready to head out. How fast is he? Fast enough. Okay, follow up. We got a group of four. The four compadres. The four compatriots. The four friendamundos. All ready to head out and explore the land. Including backpack, so technically it's five. <laughs> oh, backpack. <laughs> we're just gonna ignore his name streak and we're just gonna that's not even a name anymore that is no longer his name he is just backpack to us now and that's all he will ever be okay she looks like she has clothing so i'm guessing she has something to do with this i hope at the very least because we really need a back like an actual backpack on top of our um <laughs> our practice backpack yeah it doesn't seem like we're gonna get any okay 
We'll buy some extra first aids. Dish them out, because it's definitely going to be needed. The first group of starving bandits we see we're going to attack, so if everyone has uh, medical supplies, that's going to help out quite a bit. Okay, there we go. I think we're about ready to head out. We will give Hobbs over here. Fish and um, the meat wrap. We'll keep the Gohan for ourselves. That should help us out enough. There we go. Okay. So, squint it is. If we see anyone on the way, we will attack them on sight. Roll out, the boys! I need to think of- Oh, I got it already. Hold up. Hold up. I know the new name. Thunder Squad. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I could have just done this voice for Hobbs, but instead I shut my esophagus down. <laughs> well, the more you learn every day, right? Oh yeah, look at him go. And it feels good to know that Chad is the strongest by about double. <laughs> yeah, it's good to know. But of course, Mortez and Hobbs, they will catch up pretty soon to the likes of Lemon and Chad. Uh, just saying, you know, comment down if you want to have your name in, and I'll put him in like a random drawing. Just so it's not like first come, first serve. Even though I probably should have it, because, you know, you guys that come in real quick are honestly my favorite. Don't tell anyone else, though. Don't tell anyone else. But, uh... Yeah, I feel like that'll equalize things up a little bit, so by the time I'm recording an episode 2, I'll roll an RNG generator, and you guys can be a part of my journey, a part of my life, a part of my goal to become number one, baby! Let's keep her going! You know, there was a time once when I wrestled a randy gorilla with my bare hands. We're probably just gonna give Chad the Kronk voice, I feel like that's pretty good for it. Right here it was, I sipped a very large amount of rum, so it was the most wobbly of battles, but I did it. I taught the Randy Gorilla a lesson in manners and restraint, so I did. Then we sat down together at the campfire, and we talked about those pesky cacti. He gave me a- Alright, alright, Gramps. Nap time soon. Okay, there we go. I should have given him an old voice. Take a sip of your medicine and save us from your stories, would you? I don't think you have a lot of clearance to talk about that, Mortez. Just saying. <laughs> you look like a grandpa yourself. Afraid I'm all out. The old rums bottle is completely drained. So it is. I completely butchered that. And here we are, looking at Kenshi's natural pathfinding. Just run straight into a mountainside. I should probably be keeping a closer eye out for any nearby squads, because I am itching for a fight. I want just a full-on, just duke out, you know, man-on-man -man combat is what I'm talking about. But sadly... I don't really see any groups. We're probably going to be able to head over to Squin with no problem. So, my first plan when heading into the town of Squin is to visit the police station and go see if there's any bounties nearby. I feel like I want to make my money off of bounty hunting, okay? I don't want to steal. I don't want to scum that. Also, just stealth is not my forte. So, I want to become a bounty hunter. It's probably going to be very dangerous, but I think I'm ready. Oh, I'm starting to see it in the distance. Beautiful, beautiful Squin. Home of the Sheks. I almost said Shrek. <laughs> I don't know. Shrek might... Shrek? Shrek might be hiding in here as well. I don't really know. I don't see any bands of starving bandits nearby, which is kind of sad. But we'll go pick up some bounties. Also, while I was heading over here, you can actually see the other town pretty darn close. I think that is going to be... Vane's Pass. So maybe we'll go check that out as well. For right now, we're going to be okay in the border zones. And to be honest, we're going to be okay going into Holy Land territory. Maybe we spark it up north. We don't got any, you know, gross uh, <laughs> mechanical enhancements. All right, mechanical stuff. You can't improve that. But muscle is the ultimate canvas to paint your art on. Muscle can be improved. And that's why I'm going to say no to cybernetics. Cybernetics are for chumps. Okay? Real men lift weights and get that up naturally. I think you can start to see uh, the six-pack that Chad has. So yeah, carrying around backpack is going to be pretty helpful, to be honest. That's how he's doing. And he's alive. You might want to drop him down soon enough. Okay, we're getting up close. Watch your fragile bones, Flatskin. I have died on the Holy Plains if not for the Stone Golem. Listen, buddy, you know, you know who I... You there. Yeah, me. Smuggling check, remove your gear. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't have anything. We literally don't go. I was about to say I'm stronger than them, but they have a 55, uh, 69 strength skill, actually, so we would actually get destroyed. 
We only have 30, which is pretty darn good, I'd say, but hopefully we can improve that in the future. I actually don't remember this outside one, so I think this is a part of the mod, which is pretty cool, actually. Let's see what you are. Shek Warrior of the Shek Kingdom. Okay, that's just, like, a shopkeeper. All I care about right now is a PD. But that's actually really cool that they have, like, a slums outside of the actual city. I don't think there's gonna be anything good in those. Hydroponics. Squint houses. Yeah. We're not gonna buy a home just yet. I don't know where I want to live, but I kind of want to pick somewhere nice. To be honest, I think we are going to head over to uh, Holy Land territory after we check out the PD here. Maybe uh, catch a couple bar flies. I don't know. I'll probably save the last character. You know what? You know what? We ought to get our full uh, squad right now. Screw it. Whoever's in this bar right here is going to be a part of the squad. So actually, the thing is, if we want to go into Holy Land, we got to have all humans with us, right? That might be a bit of a problem. Where is this PD at? Oh, we actually passed it on our way. The PD is right over here. Okay. Let's go say hi. Okay. We ought to, you know, I guess, introduce ourselves if we're going to be a true bounty hunting Chad. Let's actually go check our skills real quick. I feel like we're getting close. Oh, yeah. We're almost there at strength level 31. Just a little bit more. It's probably a little bit harder to level up now that we have such a high carry weight, but it's good to be at level 30 at least for right now. Alrighty, let's go talk to you. What is it, Flatskin? I'm a bounty hunter looking for work. I then hunt for a hunter, check the wanted posters, search the outlands for criminals in hiding, then bring them to me for your reward. That I will do, good sir. Let's go sell... Oh, there's no uh, posters? Usually there'd be posters with it. Um... Okay, I guess they don't have any cool posters for us right now, unless I'm just missing something. Yeah, I don't see anything. Wow, you guys are useless. Okay, let's go ahead to the bar and go recruit someone. It's right across from the PD. You know, I gotta say, one thing about these Kenshi cities is that they are very nice, small, compact, and very hard to get lost in. It's literally one hallway, so I guess we got that going for us as well, right? Alrighty, which one of you bozos wants to join Chad on his eternal quest for glory? Now, we actually might not be able to recruit from here because it's literally all Sheks. We'll go check the fence real quick. Maybe they'll have a backpack for us. Uh, they have a single peasant tunic black. Uh, pretty useless. The thieves are actually in a lot of these positions, huh? Yeah. Yeah, if we have a Shek with us, we won't be able to go to Holy Land. And I've actually never been, like to Holy Land territory a bunch, because I usually have, you know, like a Hive member or a Shek member with us. So I think we're going to avoid this. I think it's about time we head out. Let's make our way all the way up to Okrin's Gulf. Probably won't join them, but uh, I think it'll be nice to look for some low-level people, you know, that have some nice land. And it's going to be green for once instead of just all desert. Then maybe we can go bump our way up to... uh. The Fog Islands. I definitely feel like after we get, uh, you know, the the real runs of the litter a little bit more leveled up, I have a really big feeling that leveling our characters up against those fog, like, chumps, the, those fog hive members that eat you on a rit ritualistic uh, cannibal pull, is gonna be a nice way to level up. And it'll be more of like a, um, you know, like a wave defense type deal, okay? Overwhelming numbers. Chad has his ultimate weapon. So, I don't think we should be too worried. It's gonna be a long journey, but I am ready for whatever it takes. Let's- let's get going. The sands are tough this time of year, and actually, while we were, uh, looking around, we came across a strange camp. I kinda wanna check that out. Honestly, strange camp probably isn't gonna be the best bet for us. We're probably gonna get destroyed. But I'm actually really curious on what that's gonna be. Also, I might drop down Streak in a little bit, cause he's pretty much healed up. We might want to beat him up just a little bit more. I think we're going to go let him go, though. I think he's done his worth. And, you know, I don't really want to carry around a body for so long. And it's kind of uh, harshing up our style right now. I'll probably wait till I'm level 31. I'll beat the snot out of him, let him go. Probably won't even heal him up. I'll just let him bleed out on the sand. And if he wakes up, he wakes up. I want to check out what the strange camp is, though. That's definitely on the top of my agenda. Okay, we were able to, ab able to make it up to this strange camp. And it seems pretty nice, actually. There's a little bedroll here. Can we pick that up? No, we can't. But yeah, it's got a little sitting box. Knights of Okrin. Okay, okay, that ain't bad. It's got a brassiere here. 
And a big old statue dedicated to the man himself. And what better of a spot to do this than sacrifice backpack to be uh, eternally <laughs> uh, memorized, I guess. Okay, everyone, hold. This is my job. Let's see how he does. Gotta wait for him to wake up, though. I wonder if he's still gonna be pissed at me or if he's just gonna run in fear. Hope it's one of the two. I mean, we did kind of help him up, so maybe he'll join us. You never know. Oh, he's up. Welcome. You're finally awake. <laughs> Caught trying to cross the border, huh? But he's- Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't just run. I just want food. <laughs> you look half dead. You're in no condition to rob me. Die of starvation or die by a swordsman blade. Don't matter at this point, does it? And believe me, Squid, you do not want to fight it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's just... <laughs> Put your sword away, I can help you. The forgiving Chad. <laughs> um... Look at him like... Wait, he didn't join me? He didn't join me. No, 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 that... That, that was a part of the... That was a part of the contract, buddy! You, you better get over here right now! You were supposed to join the squad! Look at him go! Oh my god, that is terrifying! <laughs> Hold on, we gotta get this again. Run. Okay, we actually can't hit him. He's like somehow evading this perfectly. I don't know how he does it, but he's doing it. So we're gonna let him go. Whatever. <sighs> man. That was 500 cats. 500 freaking dinaroos, man. Eh, yeah, whatever. Okay, everyone group up, let's head over. I want one battle before we decide to call, call it quits for today. So, we'll just find the slowest person and we will follow them. Okay, we were able to bump up our speed by quite a bit. I'm still so sad over losing 500 cats. I thought he'd want to join me, dude. Maybe we should have bumped it up to 1,500. Eh, whatever. I think I scared him <laughs> very easily. Man, Chad is fast. So fast. Okay, so it seems like we just discovered Stack, which I think is going to be the first, I guess, location for us to visit. I really hope we find something soon, man. It's been so long, I just want to fight some starving bandits. I feel like me and my boys deserve it a little bit, yeah? So, uh, we've been traveling a while now. You've not mentioned your legend since the bar. Talking to Hobbs Wayne in the back. <laughs> legend? What legend? The legend you joined us to search for, the Wailing Banshee or whatever it was. And something about truffles. Wailing Banshee? I don't know about that, sounds awfully silly. Seriously? But... I'm just gonna walk right past them. <sighs> <laughs> okay, we made it. We made it. I still want to get into a big scuffle. We have not gotten into any crazy battles today. And I think we're gonna recruit our fifth person right now. I just, I just want it all done with. We'll get our... Fabulous five. <laughs> Hold up. Nah, is that too, that's a little bit too good though. Fabulous five. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But we made it anyways. So let's go get one more person. We're gonna find a group of starving bandits and we're gonna go prove our worth. Okay. So we got a pretty nice, um, we need, I'd say another female in the group. Oh my, look at those biceps. Yo, can you join us human mercenary? <laughs> Holy hell. Okay, we'll go talk to Nat. We'll have, you know, the boy himself, even doesn't really matter. Talk to him. We want to get five people so we're completely ready for this whole job. My little sister was burned to death during one of the Inquisitor's heretic hunts last month. Now they've turned their attention to me. They say I'm tainted. So here I am, selling my life as a sellsword for a meager 3,000 cats. So my question, are you adventuring out, Romer? Um... <laughs> Oh my god, I am, but there's no way in hell I'm hiring a tainted woman. Yeah, sure, 3,000, nothing. Okay, we're gonna need to use a plastic surgeon for this, so I hope there is someone nearby. Take me away from this cursed place. Oh, we're staying here. <laughs> we gotta have a place to get healed up at. Wait, Griffin, hold up. Hold up, dude. Look at, look at this boy. Don't tell me he's gonna join us. I had a dream last night. The Lord of Okrin himself came to me, and he told me that I would meet a wealthy wanderer from the outside. The wealthy wanderer lead me to the truth, will lead me to the origin of the first extinction. With this, the land of the holy nation will finally find peace. 
Ah, uh, man, you think I'm your wanderer? Okrin will show me if you are the one. So, wanderer. 9,000 cats. Oh, my. Yo, his stats are pretty good, too. Man, that's a huge waste. Whatever. Okay, well, I haven't run follow Mortez, and we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go destroy some starving bandits. My group of five versus their group of five. We'll leave the, uh, cleanup process for next episode. Show me your wares. We're gonna need to buy a couple quick little bites of food for Nat. So she doesn't starve. Just she has a weapon. Oh, she does! Okay. That's good in that respect. I guess she did cost 3,000, so I sure hope she came with the weapon. Okay. We will find a group of starving bandits. Somewhere. Somewhere, we will. Okay, I'm walking by, <laughs> and I see this lost drone. I mean, like, he's alone. He's kind of getting close to, uh... Uh, the, the no-no faction. Maybe we ought to get backpack number two. I feel kind of bad for the little guy. He's gonna walk straight into Holy Land. It's better I take him out right now myself than have them take him out and then enslave him, right? I'm only gonna use him as a backpack, not a slave. So, I feel like, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna have to put you down for your own good. Pretty subpar stats, but he probably could still mess me up. He's got a staff. Oh, he actually is. <laughs> Come on, Chad. Chad, Chad, all you've, all you've done, <laughs> come on, buddy, there you go, okay, now we're thrashing, there we go, okay, I was about to say, if we're about to lose to a single drone, it'd be pretty sad, he is targeting the chest pretty well, but yeah, 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 no chance, sorry, little guy, but it has to be this way, don't worry, I'll oh my god, Chad, <laughs> Chad, you don't need to do this to him, I oh my, Oh, nope, there's a- there's a holy flame. I tried, buddy. Whoa! Oh, no, we- we need to go. <laughs> oh, no, we need to go. Okay, the good thing is, these guys are- they're slow. We're not gonna be able to be friends with the holy nation, are we? <laughs> are you serious? I'm attacking a, a- drone! Okay, okay. Chad, you need to get going. Yeah, bump it up to sprinting. The ages of darkness have come for us. Okay. Well, it was a nice day at the Holy Nation, but, um, yeah. Yep, 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 we're gonna head back to the hub. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted, but, um, Chad's got a split. A little bit battered, a little bit broken. Actually, still doing alright. I mean, that strength is definitely took a hit, but hey, we're alive. I feel really bad for that like that drone boy. <laughs> We're done here. Ah, oh, man. I was really hoping for like a full-on mosh pit battle. I was not expecting to create enemies with them immediately. A little bit dumb if you ask me, but, um, you know, we just gotta deal with the cards we've been given. We'll kill the holy nation. Bunch of zealot xenophobes. Okay, so let's sit over here. We gotta go heal, uh, your boy up real quick that... Honestly, that hive member really kicked his butt. Actually, the hive member dropped into around, like, half, and then the... Holy Nation boys really put a number on him. But that's going to help out his toughness, which is going to help him out in the end. Anyways, I think I'm going to end it here with all, everyone here. So yeah, if you guys liked this episode, please like, favorite, share, subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a darn good day. Peace out.